Well, for specific love, this is the third edition of 10 Life Hacks with Carabiners. Let's begin. If you carry around a book bag a lot, it can be really handy in carrying stuff, except people can sometimes unzip this, even if it's on your shoulder or back, and you don't even notice, but they can get inside. Now, a simple carabiner can help prevent that. Put them on, latch it in place, and that can help, but that's not a foolproof system, of course. Now, if you take a carabiner that actually has a locking mechanism on it, put it all together, latch it nice and tight. Now it's gonna take a lot more effort, and chances are, if this is still on your back or your shoulder, you're gonna feel somebody trying to mess around with this lock, trying to get it loose, and then you'll be able to catch them red-handed. If you ever wanna go grocery shopping in your family, there's a good chance you're gonna have coupons. And if you keep them all just separated like this, there's a good chance you might, oh, oh, you just lost them. That is, unless you take a carabiner, and you take a hole punch, and you put a hole right through the end of all your coupons. Great thing about the carabiner, now you can keep them all organized and together. You can clip this to your purse, or to your, maybe your belt loop, or however you're gonna carry them. And then when you're checking out, and you get to the crash register, you can reach in, pull out the ones you need, rip them out, and you keep the rest of them organized. If you've ever taken a child fishing, there's always that chance you want to cast it and, well, they just let it go, plunk in the water, now it's gone forever. I remember doing that as a child, my father wasn't all that happy. Well, I got a great way using some carabiners and some rope to help prevent that. Take your whatever length rope you choose, tie your carabiner on each end, attach one to your rod and reel right here, and if it's done right, it shouldn't come off. Then you can take the other end and attach it maybe to a bracelet, maybe their belt loop, or something, maybe even the boat, so that it stays nice and sturdy, so just in case they happen to let go, you still have the rod with you. You don't have to worry about losing it. If you have a pickup truck, there's a good chance you're gonna try and haul something. So to do that, you're always gonna need some kind of a safety chain that attaches from your trailer to the back of your truck. Now, if you get one of these really heavy-duty carabiners, you can attach it to the chain and easily attach it to the hitch. Now, to do that, it gives it nice, really secure fit. You don't have to worry about it accidentally popping off. Another great way to store this is once you get the chain off, you can take it, you can attach it, and just leave it on your hitch. And that way, if by chance your chain in the future does not have a way to connect it, you easily have a connecting point. Anytime you go shopping, there's always a chance for your groceries or whatever you're buying to get scattered across your trunk depending on how you drive. Now if you take a large carabiner, you can clip it to something, then you can take your grocery bag, slide each one of them over on your carabiner, and now they will stay sturdy all the way home. Then when you get home, you can take your carabiner, and if you can carefully remove it, now you have a nice little carrying Grip right there so you can carry all your bags at once. If you're anything like my family, you like to save your grocery bags. All the, the plastic bags that you get with your groceries. Now, they make great trash bags or if you're just trying to carry stuff. But if you're trying to save a bunch of them like we do, they can make a mess on a shelf. That is, unless you take a couple carabiners and some string. In my case, I'm just using some paracord. You take one of them and you latch it on some kind of a hanging shelf. You run it through, attached the carabiner to the paracord, and now you have a hanging holder. Now you can adjust the length of this rope for maybe your closet, in our case a utility room, so it fits in your needs. You can have a high, low, whatever you want. But it's a great way to use a carabiner for storage. If you happen to have a dog that's real intelligent, sometimes it can learn to lift the latch and escape. But to help prevent that, you take a carabiner, and there's usually a hole right here on the bottom of the latch. You can slide a carabiner right through, and now they can't get out. If you work around any kind of machinery, there's a good chance you've probably seen one of these clips. They usually you take one finger, you can reach in, put them on, and put them off. Now, the newer these are, or depending on maybe even how old your equipment may be, these can sometimes be very difficult to get off, especially with just one finger. So if you take a carabiner, you latch it on, 
Now, you can easily get two, possibly even three fingers in there to give it a nice, easy pull. If you happen to have this kind of shelving in your house, it's real narrow, you can put hangers on them, but they don't want to slide back and forth, they can just be a challenge sometimes. That's when you take some carabiners, snap them on, flip them upside down, then get you a piece of good hard pipe or something that's pretty sturdy, and you want to slide it through. And now you can utilize those shelves by putting hangers on them and you have a lot more sliding space. If you use a bunch of recycle bags when you go grocery shopping, if you take a carabiner, hang them from the front of your cart, it's a great way to store your bags while you're shopping.